Okay, so what did I do while I was laying around with COVID? Well, <laughs> I uh, happened to see a fretless Alembic Essence on uh, online that uh, Guitar Center had. And uh, I went ahead and bought that. And it's kept me kind of busy and having fun and... great sound and bass I uh, <clears throat> very plain simple not much to uh, in essence as far as uh, you know fancy details it's maple on maple but uh, the ebony fingerboard is beautiful and of course it has you know all, all of Alembic's uh, handmade hardware and, and uh, essence circuit but uh, it's really all you need with a fretless bass. It just has the tone you want. It's got a lot of moi. It's got a, a nice full bottom end. That was just using uh, mostly the uh, treble pickup. I want to bring some meat into it. And that's with uh, the tone about halfway down. affordable um, you know you can still pick these up for uh, under three thousand uh, dollars if you shop around the uh, overall playability is just like you'd have on a thirty thousand dollar alembic it's it's great feels really uh, well made the uh, workmanship of course is is top-notch uh, Ron circuitry is just nothing like it Nothing cuts through on a gig like they do. And uh, <clears throat> for me, I've got, you know, multiple fretlesses that I've had over the years. And uh, I still have a Tony Franklin Fender uh, fretless bass. And it's a great bass. Um, but my go-to has always been my uh, Mark King fretless bass. I have a five-string uh, Mark King standard that... Uh, really sounds great um but like i say i was looking online saw this and said hey it needs a home and uh the condition was amazing on it i mean it still has the paper on the back plates and this was made in uh, 92 so <clears throat> a well cared for instrument Held up beautifully over these years. Uh, hardly used, apparently. So, anyway, that was what I've been doing during COVID to have some semblance of fun.